Hi, thanks so much for joining us. This is Shannon from Strategic Intervention Solutions. If you watched our previous video on how to pet play this nine hole strategy game, you were playing the regular version where it is where you're trying to find a tic-tac-toe version. In this video, we're gonna show you a little bit more of a complex way of showing the game if kids want a little bit more of a challenge. This video is great for students to use in the classroom to learn how to play the, the game um, as a group. It also could be played as a whole class to help you to kind of integrate new games in your uh, in your classroom. Strategy games we like to be where students have to kind of question their metacognition to think about where they're going. So to review the rules in this game, we're trying to get nine holes. Strength is not apparent where the nine holes are, but they're the nine intersections of the game board. The game board is played just like tic-tac-toe. Um, and so you want to try to get three in a row diagonally. You might want to get three in a row horizontally, or you could get three in a row vertically. The idea here is that we don't end up having a cat's game because it's a continuous movement. The game board, although you can download it on our website, um, we're offering this game for free on our website and a special on our strategy games, you also can just draw this game board on a piece of paper or a dry erase board in your classroom and you could do it the same way. In level one, you are able to move your counter once it's laid to any spot on the board that you wished. In this game, we're going to put the counter on a certain spot, but you're only gonna be able to move a line segment. So you can move a line segment up, to the left, down, but you can't go diagonal. So the strategy in this game is to really decide where you originally place your counters to help you then decide where you're going to go ahead and move it. So my partner and I are sitting shoulder to shoulder, but you could play on either side of the game board as this game board does not have a different vantage point if you're on the opposite side of the table. So I'm gonna be red, my partner's going to be yellow. I'm gonna go ahead and go first and put one of mine in the center. My partner's gonna go and put one of theirs in one of the spots that they're thinking of. I'm gonna put another counter over here. My partner might be thinking about how they want to block my three in a row, and so they might wanna go here to help to block so I don't win that one. Um, and so I'm gonna continue to add on my next part and maybe try to see if I can go in for a diagonal win here. My partner's going to realize that they are in the corner. Now, when this is set up, everything's on the game board, but remember, the complexity is now that you only can move a line segment. If we were playing level one, my partner would simply take this counter and put it in the corner, but she's unable at this point to move going across the board. She only can move in a line segment. It would really be great because she has a way that she could win here and here, but it's much different because we're playing a different level. So it's my turn to decide I want to move a line segment. And so I'm going to choose to move mine out of the center and kind of go down. My partner now gets to decide where she would like to move to, get, to move that line segment. So she's gonna move one down here in the middle because that was a great block for me here. If her counter wasn't close to here, I would have been able to come in for the win depending on how my uh, counters were aligned. I'm gonna go ahead and try to go here and see where my partner decides to move the line segment and she's blocking me again. I'm gonna continue to go up. Sometimes in this game, you end up kind of always being on the offense or the defense, depending on how you're playing it. My partner just won. She came into the slide across the side. There was no real way for me to prevent this because I couldn't get a counter to go diagonally. So this game's really fun to play. Using it in a line segment definitely adds a different layer of complexity for students because they have to be strategic about actually how they're placing their, uh, their you know, counters on the board before they start to go ahead and play. So we hope that you check out our video on the nine holes. If you're new to nine holes, feel free to watch the first version. It's a, lot, a really fun game. This game can be used for students, honestly, as early as four years old and up. It's a great game to kind of see who can be most strategic to be able to get their three in a row. Feel free to visit, visit our website at sis4teachers.org and our YouTube channel to find out more great games you can bring into your classroom.